Welcome to FM Tuition Academy. Okay. Now, if you know a grade 10, grade 11, 12, or GC student, the first thing you do is you hit the subscribe button. There's a subscribe button down there. Hit it if you haven't subscribed. For those ones who haven't subscribed, you first subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification button. Turn on the notification button. Okay. Now, for those ones who want to do online tuitions with us, because we'll be able to train you Make sure you contact us on this WhatsApp line 0979222076 or 0953332004. You can contact us on either of them, this one or the one down, or this one down. So you can contact us on either the two numbers. Okay. So we're offering online tuitions to help those ones who are writing so you can boost your understanding. Okay, so today in science, we'll be looking at a topic called simple machines. This topic is very important. Simple machines is a very important topic. So simple machines what we're looking at. So the first thing is what is a simple machine? What is a simple machine looking at simple machines first we need to define okay let me start like this we're looking at simple machines we have to define first what is a machine what is a machine by definition what is it So a machine is any device is any device where a force a, a, a force where a force where a force is applied at where a force is applied at one point to overcome okay let me go to the next page so a machine is any device where a force where a force is applied at one point to overcome a force at another point okay to overcome a force at another point so it's a device where force is applied at one point to overcome uh, a force at another point so under machines there are certain things that will be a bit familiar that you are going to keep on using you are going to find the uh, this word effort is usually used in simple machines what is effort effort it is effort simply means the applied force Effort, effort means the applied force. I'll explain. I'll show you what I mean. I mean the force that you apply on something. If you're pushing something, for example, you're trying to push something, okay? That force that you're applying is called 
maybe are pushing a box and so on it's called effort okay apart from effort the other common thing is called the load what is a load you need to know what the effort is you know you need to know what the load is the load is okay so a load it is a, a load it it is the load it is the so the load it is the it is the force overcome it is the force overcome by the effort so the load it is the force overcome this word is overcome in case you don't see it clear this word is overcome overcome okay so it is the force overcome by the effort what do i mean okay an example is if for example i put a rock here okay let's say this is a rock okay this is a stone and then this is a pivot and then this is the support or support system okay and then here is a human being okay that human being is standing here okay he's holding this with his hands okay he's standing there he's holding this with his hand he's holding it by the handle here okay and then decides to uh push this handle downwards in this direction so push this handle downwards in this direction put push this handle downwards in this direction so when you are pushing this handle you see this is a pivot you are trying to push this and this is a pivot and then this is where you are standing this is the floor okay this is the ground okay this is the ground so when you push this is like a metal so when you push this downwards what happens when you're pushing this thing downwards like this okay you're applying force in this direction this thing will go upward okay so this force that you're applying downwards is what is called effort you're applying effort here so this force the one that is going in this direction this one is called effort effort and then what you are pushing upwards is called the load okay okay what you are pushing upwards is called the load okay so it, this is also ex exiting a force downwards the force of this thing is coming downwards here okay it's also heavy so you are pushing it from down it's also has force downwards so this is called the load this is called the load and then the force that you are applying is called the effort effort is simply means the force that you are applying the effort you are applying to push something is called the effort and then the load is what you are pushing whether it's a heavy box whether that's a load a load is something that you are pushing okay and then the effort is the energy that you are using okay i think i've given you the definitions effort is applied force okay load 
it is a it is a force that is being overcome by the effort okay okay now there are certain things that you need to know common things that you need to know is the there is what you call levers under simple machine what is a lever a lever this includes the um examples of levers are things like scissors a scissors is a lever a scissors that you use for cutting clothes okay a lever a slasher all those are simple machines a slasher that one is for cutting grass a shovel okay all those are levers okay You see a boho all those are levers these are types of simple machines types of simple machines so these are types in case i didn't these are types the types of simple machines The types of simple machines. These are types of simple machines. Types of simple machines. Um, the second type of simple machines, apart from levers, is pulley. You need to know what a pulley is. Pulleys, I think you have seen them before. For example, if this is a support system, this is a support system. That is a support system. And then you find the uh, a pulley looks like this, whereby they they will put something like this here. And then there is the, this is what is called a pulley. It's like a uh, it's like a it's like a a ring like that. It's not necessarily a ring. It's like a round thing. And then here you can say it's lifting. It's the uh, there's a string here. Okay, this is a string, so it goes bypasses the pulley like this, and then you are holding it from this side. Okay, you are a person, you are standing here. Okay, you are standing like this, and then you are pushing this thing downwards. Okay, you are pushing it downwards like this. So these are pulleys where you are pushing it downwards. As a person, you are pushing it downwards. So here is a box. Okay, this is a box. So when you're pushing it downwards, this box will go upwards like this. When you're pushing it downwards like that, the box, the 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 the, the box will go upwards. Okay, that's what happens. So those are pulleys. Okay. Examples of another pulley. It's the same thing if this is a support system and then you can have a load like that and then here we've got like a like a metal like you know and then you are lifting like a box here okay you are playing a force like that this thing is very heavy it's, it's save it downward then you're pulling it let's say you're standing on top of a cliff like this you're a person you're standing here okay you're standing here and then you're pulling this thing by your hand like this so as you pull it by your hand what happens you need to draw these things you need to know these are examples of pulleys this is the way a pulley looks okay that's how a pulley looks like so these are examples of pulleys so you push it you pull so it's called a pulley you pull this string like this when you pull this thing this box will go upward this box it will begin to go upward when you're pushing pulling that the ball this carrying will begin rotating 
okay so when you're pulling this this box that was the having force downwards it will start going upward now since you're pulling it okay we've got uh, a gear what about a gear how does it look like a gear is very simple i think you have seen this even in toys they look like this like this this is the way gears look okay the way gears look and then you find there's another one this side you see they are rotating like this okay maybe this this it's just it's rotating maybe in this direction so as it rotates it causes even this one to rotate so they're like they're like gears they just rotate together okay these are gears these are types of simple machines we also have got what, you, what is called inclined planes inclined plane inclined to incline it means to put something on a slide inclined plane so inclined plane how does it look like for example if this is a slide and then it's like this and then there's a box here okay and then you are a person standing like this okay and then you're pushing this thing in this direction you're pushing it on a slope like this you're pushing it in that direction it's going in this direction so this is what is called inclined because it's inclined on a slope like this the box is on inclined you are pushing it upwards so those are inclined planes okay yeah okay now under simple machines there is what is going to you are going to be dealing with called mechanical advantage mechanical advantage you need to ask yourself what is mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage is defined as mechanical advantage it is the ratio the ratio the ratio of the what load to the effort in case they ask you to define it in the exam so you say this is your defining the mechanical advantage ratio of the load to the effort so in the formula for it is mechanical m means mechanical advantage a is equal to load divided by effort it's a ratio okay it has no units because the units cancel out apart from mechanical advantage you you have what is called velocity ratio in simple machine velocity ratio you have what is called velocity ratio velocity ratio velocity ratio what is velocity ratio that's what you should ask yourself what is in velocity ratio velocity ratio what is velocity ratio you need to ask yourself what is velocity ratio okay so velocity ratio the velocity ratio, ratio it is the ratio it is a mechanical advantage but upside down so it is a ratio it is a ratio of the distance moved by the effort to the distance moved by the load it is a ratio of the distance moved by the effort to the distance moved by the load okay it's a ratio of the distance moved by the effort to the distance moved by the load okay so the formula is in velocity ratio is equal to the ratio of the distance moved d means distance 
distance moved by the effort over distance moved by the load. You don't know you know what D is. D E means distance moved by effort. Distance moved by effort. And then DL is distance moved. The L looks smaller, okay? Distance moved by the load. Which one means this one means distance moved by the load. Distance moved by load. Distance moved by the load. The distance moved by the load. Load. L O A D. Load. Load. Distance moved by the load. That's how you spell it. In case you can see it properly there. Load. L O A D. And then, apart from that, you'll be also learning what is called efficiency. What is efficiency? Efficiency. That's one thing you should know. What is efficiency? That's what you ask yourself. What is efficiency? Efficiency. The efficiency of a machine. Of a machine. What is it? If we say efficiency. It is the what? The efficiency of a machine or the efficiency. It's a ratio of the useful energy done by the machine. It is it is the ratio ratio of the useful 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 it's the ratio of the useful useful it's the ratio of the useful energy So ratio of the useful work done by the machine to the total work put into the machine to the total work put into the machine so it is a ratio of the units useful energy done by the machine to the total work put into the machine so in formula form it is a ratio is that ratio so efficiency as a formula is going to be efficiency is equal to useful work done by the machine useful work done by machine to the work put in the machine to the total work put into the machine okay sometimes velocity ratio is Sometimes the rust ratio is referred to as mechanical advantage. Sometimes it's written as the mechanical velocity ratio. I mean efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times hundred percent. Okay, that size foot. Okay, all right. Mm. 
let's look at a question for example let's look at an example so that you understand how it's done so example one mm. Example one. Mm. Okay. I'll give an example under a lever. Okay. This is a lever. So we want you to. The question is in. Calculate, calculate the mechanical advantage. Calculate the mechanical advantage. This is an example. Example one. This is example. Okay, it's an example. Example. Okay. So, what do you have? Mm, for example, if I write zero there, not zero, I mean, I put a load there. This is a load, and then it's been. Then there's a person standing here. Okay. And then it's pushing this downwards okay this is a pivot okay and then this is a stone okay this one is a stone 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 um we have been asked to okay mm. so this stone the weight of this stone see there's a weight of this stone now you remember this weight this weight is called the load i think i've already explained this and then here you're applying effort you're the one a person always applies effort so this side that's where there is the effort okay this side there's a load you don't need to be told you just have to know okay they're not going to put that this is load this is effort you should know on your own that where the press the person is pressing down that's where there's effort is applying effort so this stone is actually how many newtons let's say it is 1000 let's say it's 1000 newtons and then the effort is applying here let's say it is uh, 20 newtons that's what is applying okay is applying 20 newtons Okay, okay, let me use the, let's say the, the none here is 1,000. Mm, use 20, 20,000 newtons. Okay, and then the effort is applying is 120. We're supposed to calculate the mechanical advantage. So write the formula, mechanical advantage is equal to the load divided by the effort so how much load is being applied how much load load is effort is the force applied so this is the effort okay and then this side is the load they won't tell you because the effort is why you're applying force as a person it's a person applying this force here so it means it's applying 120 so load 2000 divided by effort 120 so like that 2000 divided by the effort 120 okay actually this one is supposed to be 12000 12000 newtons okay the the load is 12000 newtons the effort is 120 so the load is one that this one cancels out with that one. 12 there, 1. 12 there, 1. Which is 100. 
so it will be 100 you see mechanical advantage you see how to calculate the mechanical advantage that's example one okay example two will be under um, the second example will be under a pulley under pulleys where they give you a pool i've already explained so if for example that is an inclined plane okay and then here there is that and then you are pulling with that with your legs like that you're a person you are standing there maybe you're on a cliff like this you are standing on that thing you're on top here okay you're a person standing there and then what you're pulling is a box like this okay you are pu putting a box like this how heavy is this you are applying effort this side how much weight is here this thing is weighing the weighing it's weighing is pointing downwards it is 30 newtons and then you are applying an effort of um, 15 newtons there okay where so you are putting it in this direction what and then here it's calculate the mechanical advantage calculate the mechanical advantage i just use she short initials ma means mechanical advantage so it will be mechanical advantage is going to be load over effort guys load this what mm, actually i've used simple ones here let's use larger numbers let's say we use the 50 and then 25 okay 50 and 25 so this one the box is 50 newtons okay the box is 50 newtons so it will be 50 the load is 50 is how much this box is weighing okay over the effort is 25 the effort so this is a load okay this box is a load and then the force you're applying there is the effort beside so over 25 over 25 50 divided by 25 is 2 so the answer is 2 mechanical advantage is actually 2 okay guys roughly that's how you do this then the last example will be under inclined planes the last example is under inclined planes you see inclined inclined plane the last example is under inclined plane inclined plane what about inclined plane guys inclined plane inclined plane okay okay let's let's use inclined plane what about inclined plane inclined plane if they give you a plane that is like this i think i've explained this type of planes and then we put a box here and then you have a person on this side okay you are pushing this box the weight of this box is five newton how much this box weighs pointing downwards this weight it is eh? let's say 10 newtons and then you are pushing this thing with an effort of you see i'm even telling you i'm not supposed to tell you <laughs> with an effort of five newton uh, with an effort of two newtons and then they say calculate the mechanical advantage so it will be mechanical advantage that's the question there is equal to load divided by the effort so what is a load the load is how how the weight of the box so this one is a load the 10 is a load okay in brackets the two, the two is the effort okay the two is the effort they don't tell you you just have to know so the load is 10 is how much the box is weighing over the effort is two so two divided by 10 is five there's no unit so it's just five five is a mechanical advantage okay 
based on that information, solve this exercise. Okay, solve this exercise. Ex exercise one. Okay, this is a rock. 100 newtons. This is a person. Is applying a force here of 15 newtons. This is a pivot. Okay, this is a pivot. Then here it is calculate the mechanical advantage. You use sentences, right? Mechanical advantage. I'm just using shortcut. So that's it. Okay, the mechanical advantage. This is a pivot. I said pivot. Okay. Mm, question two. This is an inclined plane. And then this is a person is pushing this box. It's pushing two boxes actually, not one, <laughs> but it's more interesting. So this box is fifty newtons. This box is weighing 150 newtons. Okay, this is the weight of those boxes, but he's pushing them in this direction. He's using an effort of 100 newtons to push these things. Calculate the mechanical advantage. Calculate the mechanical advantage. Okay, which is the MA. Okay, calculate the mechanical advantage. Lastly, lastly, uh, lastly, guys, eh? um, the last part is um, a pulley. Okay, let's say. This is a, a support, and then, okay, this is a support there, and then a pulley. is coming like this, so it is coming like this. Okay, you can say, let's say it's coming like this. And then there's a box here, there's another box here, there are two boxes. Actually, there are three boxes, box one, box two. So this one is 20 newtons, this one is 30, this one is 40 newtons. And then this is a pulley. This is a pulley, and then you're pushing them in that direction. You're standing there on a cliff. You're applying a load of five newtons. An effort of five newtons. Calculate mechanical advantage. So here is calculate the mechanical advantage. Lastly, the thing is inclined like this, and then it comes like this. Then, like that, and then you're pushing this thing 
you are a person standing here you are pushing with that with 150 newtons effort you are lifting two boxes this one is 1000 newtons this one is 1000 newtons this one is 2000 newtons calculate the mechanical advantage so you can try that thank you